Hi, I'm Kenny Lee, and I'm going to talk a little bit about free fall and the concept of what free fall is. First of all, free fall is what happens when anything is falling and there's no air resistance. You can throw it up, you can throw it down, you can just drop it. But as long as there's no air resistance, that object's in free fall. On Earth, that acceleration it has when it's falling is going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth. And so, 9.8 meters per second squared. We use it so much, we actually give it a special letter, little g. Now, sometimes to approximate things, we might round it off to 10 meters per second squared, just to make the calculations a little bit easier. But for the most part, we're going to use 9.8 meters per second squared each time. So let's talk about some of these situations. Let's talk about the situation where we just drop a ball. Again, no air resistance. So we just drop it. There's a couple of things that we need to think about. One is its speed, its acceleration, and the distance it travels while it falls. Well, let's just take a look at that. Let's say we drop something. So if you drop something, that means the original velocity is zero. It's not moving, you, you held it still. Well, when you let it go, well, gravity's working all the time, but let's think about what happens at the very beginning. So what would this acceleration be at the very start? Well, its acceleration would be 9.8 meters per second squared. Matter of fact, that's its acceleration all the time. Gravity is always causing it to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared. All the way through until it hits the ground. What happens to its velocity? Well, first of all, gravity is pulling everything down towards the center of the Earth. So that's always acting down. But let's look at the acceleration, uh, at the velocity. So here the velocity is zero, but right here the velocity is going to have a number. We'll do the math later, but it's going to also be acting down. But here, will the velocity be greater, less, or the same? Well, since it's falling and gravity is causing this to go faster and faster and faster because it's pulling towards here, the velocity is going to be much bigger. So it's going to gain 9.8 meters per second every second that it falls. So as something's just dropped, the acceleration is down, the velocity is down. Let's take a look at one where we're throwing a ball up into the air. Okay, when we throw a ball up into the air, we're giving it a speed, and it's not in free fall until it leaves our hand. And it goes up, comes to a stop, and comes back down. So let's see what that looks like. Well, if we're throwing the ball up, its velocity is going to be upwards. But which way is gravity acting? Well, gravity is always acting down. So gravity will always be acting down while the velocity, in this case, is going up. But as time goes by, gravity is going to slow it down. So the velocity keeps getting less and less and less until at the very top of that arc, its velocity is zero. And then as it falls, it's going to gain that speed back, but now that velocity is acting downward. So those are our velocities. The acceleration, however, is going to be the same all the time. Gravity is always at 9.8. So gravity will always be acting down at 9.8 meters per second squared, even at the very top. Gravity's still acting. If gravity turned off at the very top, it wouldn't fall back down. So there has to be something causing it to accelerate downward, and that's gravity. So on the way down, gravity and velocity are in the same direction. And these arrows are obviously not drawn to scale. Okay. 
Now, what happens if we throw a ball down? Is there any difference there? Okay, if we throw a ball down, I'm not doing this with the mallet, but as soon as it leaves our hand, it already has a velocity. We're not dropping it anymore. This one's actually being flung. So it will have a velocity already acting down. It also has gravity acting down. But where gravity is always going to be the same, it's always going to be 9.8 acting on this object all the way to when it hits the ground. The velocity, though, is going to speed up because that acceleration is going to make it go faster and faster and faster as it falls. So, conceptually, gravity is always acting down. It's always the same amount, and on the Earth, it's 9.8 meters per second squared. Velocity, though, if we throw it up, initially the velocity is up, but at some point it will run out of speed, and now the velocity is going to start coming back down. And it should reach the person's hand at the same speed that they threw it up in the air. So if I throw something up in the air with a speed of, let's say, 30 meters per second, and let's round off gravity to 10 meters per second squared. So it leaves my hand at 30. After one second, gravity is going to slow it down. So now its speed is going to be 20 meters per second. After two seconds, it's going to lose another 10. So it's at 10 meters per second. At three seconds, it's at the very top and its velocity zero. Four seconds, it's starting to come back down. So now the velocity is 10 meters per second, but now it's acting downward. At five seconds, it's going to be 20 meters per second acting downward. At six seconds, it should be back to where my hand is with a speed of 30 meters per second acting downward. Okay? Tune in to the other video, and we're going to do some math with these. All right, thank you.